didn't know it already? Yes, drone racing is a thing. I love it, absolutely yeah. love it. You can't stop this, it's, it's going viral. Drone racing has only recently burst onto the scene, both here and overseas. It's been made possible by relatively cheap and very responsive technology. You have really, really manual control that actually lets you kind of bank it at 90 degrees or roll it if you want um, while having the goggles on and kind of being totally immersed. The pilot's commands are executed by an onboard flight controller, which adjusts the speed of each propeller independently. So to hover in the same spot, you want all four spinning at the same speed. To move forward, you want the back two spinning faster. So all of it comes down to very minute changes in the speed, and that's how the pilots are getting those extreme 90 degree banks. Little more than five years ago, hobbyists could only dream of such control. But that all began to change in 2010, when a group of talented hackers turned a Wii motion controller into a flight controller and shared it online. So, yeah, an open source community pulled apart, a Wii nunchuck decided to stick on a drone, and, and that was the start. And the online community has been sharing its knowledge ever since. Would you let me have a fly of yours? Absolutely, Rowdy. I'm actually a beauty therapist, so I actually carry oh. boxes around like this. So you've taken so. Your, your nail polishes out and put your drone in? Absolutely, absolutely. Bring your stick, your right stick up. Back over oh, to your right. Oh, 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 and oh, down. Oh, oh, down, Pretty down. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Knock the husband out at the same time. <laughs> Pretty impressive to watch, but the technology isn't always as perfect as it appears online. Images like this are captured with a second high definition camera. Your headset receives a much lower quality image, but for good reasons. So the way you see what's going on from the drone um, is using pretty much a, a really small TV station. So it's very analog, very old school, but really fast. Well, there's no delay between when the drone turns and when you see that. Um, if you had a digital link, it would come through half a second later and you might have hit a tree without even realizing. And then there's the perennial quest for a better battery. How long does one of those last? Well, um, probably like between, some would win two and five minutes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So there, there's, there's. It's there. a very short lap around the course then. Well, the, the, the batteries are still the bottleneck, so I wish we had better batteries. This is close you get to flying without spending thousands and thousands of dollars in becoming a pilot. I think it's going to go really, really big in a few years. I, I think I think the future of Bob the Racing um, is, hasn't begun yet. Do you think it'll become a uh, competitive sport? I think it already is. <laughs> <laughs>